Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Vendors, passers-by, and even cops were sent scampering this morning when gunmen opened fire hitting three men on Royal Avenue in Linstead, St. Catherine. Two people were confirmed dead and the third hospitalized. The Energy Minister Andrew Wheatley says Jamaica's increasing use of renewables to generate electricity will result in the country spending less on oil imports. Dr. Wheatley says this would place Jamaica on the right trajectory to supply not only residential customers but the productive sector with affordable energy. The country should know by early next year the results of a probe by the Contractor General into the contentious contract to buy used cars for the police. The Contractor General says the investigation is expected to be completed in early 2018 and a report submitted to Parliament for tabling. Isaac Buchanan, the ex-convict who was authorized to practice as an attorney at law, has been embraced by the Jamaican Bar Association. Last week, the decision of the General Legal Counsel to issue Buchanan with a certificate allowing him to become an attorney ignited commendation and condemnation. In sports, Elia Atkinson, the world champion breaststroker, is enjoying her week-long swimming clinic as much as the youngsters who are in the pool with her at the University of the West Indies. She hopes to expand the clinic in the near future. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be partly cloudy across northern and hilly inland areas and mainly sunny elsewhere with windy conditions across northern parishes. In the afternoon, expect mainly sunny skies. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.